Alright. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a good day today. It is May 8th, and that means it is time to go look at the Warmind DLC for Destiny 2. Uh, just coming out today. So, hopefully, hopefully it's detailed patch. No, oh, hopefully it's got more to it than uh, Curse of Osiris did. Because, yeah, that was rather disappointing. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna tighten it up. I've got with me today uh, my friend ID. He's been in the videos before. So he's one of my clan mates, and we're in a season three resurgence. All right, let's read this, I guess. Start of a new era. On Mars, people show up in the tower. Everybody's super pumped. Prove yourself in Crucible. Meh. Show your heroism. And they'll they'll be like, that's cool. There's all kinds of increased vault space. That's nice. I like that. Multi emotes. Something a lot of people were asking for. Private matches. That's another thing a lot of people were asking for. It's prove your worth. It's crucible. Eh. Expansion 2 Warmind is live. That's what we're going to be checking out today. Uh, and probably tomorrow and the day after that, depending on how long it takes. Destiny 2 Warmind is now available. Warmind features the exciting new raid lair Spire of Stars. New endgame challenges on Mars. It increases to level and power with new weapons and armor, a new story campaign, and more. Okay, so something about emotes. Go down to view. In, in, okay, so con configurate this. Oh, and it just lists every emote you own. Okay, that's new. That's That's interesting. Uh, so, hover over the one you want to equip, and then pick a button. So you can do that, you can do that one. Let's see. What else do I got? Uh, this one's a good one. And I think we'll hold on to the wave for now. It's always good to be able to wave to people. Yep. We're going to go with that for now. So that's neat. That's, yeah, that, that is something that uh, people were asking for for a long time. They're like, hey, I want to do emotes and blah, 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 blah. So that's new. I I like that. Gotcha. That being said, look at all the fucks I don't give. It's coming out of a coming out of a <laughs> coming out of a drum magazine. Just take anyone you like. I don't know. I heard that in another thing. It made me laugh. Advanced. Uh, okay. I haven't even been keeping track of what all of these I have. So. Strikes Crucible. Okay, so I need two more for that package thing. All right. Let's go to the tower. Oh. Id has joined us. I wonder if they're working on a new Doom yet. I hope so. <clears throat> no, but to be fair, we call him ID, but the story of how he picked his username, it was inspired by that id. So, 
technically we should be calling you id i guess so i yeah so i click the button are we actually going to go there or are we just going to okay there we go there no it's it's going now see there we are now we're flying in it just decided to sit there for a while first that's all Before we're doing that, I'm gonna real quick, I'm going to look at, do I need, or rather do I want, uh, no, 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 no. Hmm. we'll use that. Why not? We'll use Space K inside arm. It's fun. I'd still like to see him bring back the uh, the sidearm that you start the story with, or one like it, just because that was that was fun little planking tool. Okay, let's see. Do I have anything I need from the postmaster? Uh. Take that, I'll take that. The rest of this can wait. There are new exotics. Uh, and some of them apparently have been buffed or changed. Oh, no. Tess, what do you want? Says yes, you've got something to say to me. Oh look, a gift. Give me your gift. A prototype engram? In a prismatic facet. Dread from below weapon ornament. Solar transmat effect. So prismatic mission this the thing. What? Alrighty then. So what is this? Hardy's control. Gauntlets. Okay, I guess. They're decent looking, I suppose. I don't know. Thanks for um, although one thing I have to wonder is, can you still, can is it still possible to get the um, the Osiris, uh, what you call it? Um, Oh wow, that is literally just what's his face's clap from the raid. The Emperor. That's his little like where he, he kinda gestures like, Are you not entertained? And then he clap clap. Devil's work. So this is an ornament for the Huckleberry. Oh, that's the uh Tex Mechana uh smig. Those are the people who, in Destiny 1, Tex McKenna made the Chaperone and the Last Word, which were both very interesting, very Western-themed weapons. Holborn Spurk. Really? Interesting. That's a new ship. Whatever that means. Gotcha. Uh, so, armor that I could get. So, this is the... because it's too OP. Sweet business is already too good. 
Oh, uh, so this is another, uh, this is a new exotic emote. So just bury me in flowers. That's cool. Uh, and then popcorn. Oh, yeah, this is, oh, this is cool. This is a cool emote. You just got a bucket of popcorn and you're eating and you're like, look at that. Look at, is that cool? This popcorn, this is a great show. That's neat. I like it. So what is this? Oh, how th oh, that's a cool looking sparrow. Oh, that's really neat looking. Hey, it's what about this one? Oh, that one's cool too. That one's got like the the uh, the war sat kind of sleeper simulant pattern with like the the triangles and whatnot. Now, if only it could fire a sleeper simulant. Yeah. I'm still disappointed that all the cool ships in Destiny 1 that had, like, guns and missile pods and shit. And... Oh. For... I was going to say, for what, though? The Bray Legacy. Hypno pump. Okay, so sleeper is coming back. That's cool. Sleeper simulant. Oh, I hope it's as good in this as it was in the first game. Oh, that looks neat. Uh, I think it's another version of the uh, graviton lance. Endless loop. Oh, that's for the ACO feedback fence. Adds a war mind flourish to your transmat effects. I kind of want to see what that looks like. Skyline flip side shell. That's an interesting ghost shell. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that it's, it's kind of like. Uh, well, it also makes me think of more like a retro sci-fi almost, or a servitor. Here you go, it's basically a servitor shell for your, just a very shiny servitor shell. Yes, cat, you're adorable. Ability cooldown mods, okay. So does this mean I can no longer get the, um, the Curse of Osiris Eververse Thanks armor for, for my character? Because there was one, I think it was a helmet, that I wanted. Oh, well, because it was a, that's a different armor, though. Like, there's the ones he gives you, and then there's the Eververse stuff, which the Eververse stuff was the stuff I actually liked the look of. Because it looked more vexy. See, looking even more animated than usual, welcomes you to a new world of valor and glory, and encourages you to test your stuff in the new cruise. So what is the Okay, emblems. So valor rewards and rank rewards. The marine pulse rifle. Improvise, adapt, oh, really? Bear grills. Uh, so it looks like another, like, a nightshade type pulse rifle. Uh, alchemical dawn shell. So you can turn ghost into a little flower. Fireforged titan arm ornament. Meh. Imminent storm. This looks like a, uh... Oh, what's it called? Not a risk runner. It's the Vanguard thing. The button. Jolly, shiny, candy-like push it. It's a rocket launcher. Uh, let's see. Red Rix's Claymore. It's a pulse rifle. Hey, that's cool looking. That's a pulse rifle design we haven't seen since Destiny 1. I kind of want one to see if it's any good. Wishbringer. 
It's a shotgun. Glory and grandeur weapon ornament. For... Redrix's Claymore. Well, this is just a legendary, but it has its own special ornaments. That's interesting. Hmm. True glory. But yeah, I don't need those. So complete matches and challenges to, okay, so this is still the same basic stuff. So Suros is coming back. Sleeper apparently is coming back. There's a couple of new ones. I'm gonna go talk to Sh uh, not Shax. Let's begin. This is off a of a ding dung here. Oh, I have a couple things to turn in. There, I have some stuff. Uh, Archimedes Truth. Service revolver. To serve and protect. Or even Zavala's authority. Hey, that's another ship we haven't seen. That's another design we haven't seen since Destiny One. <laughs> A sidearm called Spoiler Alert. I ca I kind of want it because it's a, it's called Spoiler Alert, and then the little flavor text is someone is going to die. That's the spoiler. Uh, but I, I kind of want it. So you could just pull it out and be like, spoiler alert. And then they're like, what? And you're like, that, that's the name of the gun. Always good to see you, Guardian. Always good to, okay, you're... What do I... What do I do here? She says she wants something from me, but... Let's go see what's over, if there's anything over this way. Boing. Boing. <sighs> Boing. Anybody got anything fun to say over here? Doesn't look like. What about you, lady? No. Careful out there. She does got nothing. Uh, so let me real quick look at. Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily care about those. So what do I think we use sorry, for the parents one time? The thingy. I don't know what that means. How do I use it? How do you use that prismatic thingy, Mahoosier? Yeah, the thing you could... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I saw... Oh, you click on the pattern? Okay. Is at your service. Activate. Yeah. I got the ghost also. For ghosts who know all knowledge is true, even if it's truly. A he looks like some kind of like artsy speaker system or something. You know what I mean? Like one of those like desk top speakers that you'd have like like it would Bluetooth here phone or whatever. You know what I mean? Let's see, solar and arc kills. Don't get too distracted by the new setup, Guardian. Yeah. Anyways, 
You know what I mean, though, right? So I don't have any super useful ghost shells right now. Uh, go look at my vault second. Oh, uh, void and solar. So I just don't have any particularly useful. Well, what have I got right now? For I've got arc. I've got void. Does this one do? This one does arc. I suppose. Uh. Let's see, using my America man. Oh, the one about what's your face, Anna Bray. Oh, weird. So yeah, for those of you who I may or may not have brought you through here last time we did this, I don't even remember what all we've done. There's a hidden room up there. We're gonna go see it real quick. So this was this was one of those things that. It caused a lot of speculation. People were like, is this like hinting towards one of the DLCs in the future? Is this going to be a thing? And you find a little book, like a, a document that it was very tricky to get it to trigger because it would like wobble and waver as you were like standing next to it. So you had to get in just the right position at just the right time for it to actually like let you activate it. But when you did, it would basically talk about how uh Anna Bray this that and the other thing and it was kind of a big deal because Clovis Bray in the first game was revealed as um both a guy and a technological kind of research think tank kind of thing where they would see that's the ship I want I want one of those dropship looking things the chin gun and the missiles and that looks cool. Anyways, so yeah, they were like a, a, a technological research center headed by the dude, Clovis Bray. And basically their whole deal was, you know, they, they're responsible for a bunch of the Golden Age technology that we find elsewhere, like uh, the War Mines, Rasputin, and, and whatnot. And, okay, yeah, so it's right here now. Um... Rasputin and uh, Siva, which was a big deal in Rise of Iron. Yeah, see. Pretty much the entire thing is redacted, and there are whole pages missing. The whole page is missing. Am I worrying too much? See, it used to be right here, and it was super tricky to activate because you had to like stand just right, and you had to this and that, and it was a pain. But yeah, so th that fueled some speculation for a while. Everybody was like. Is that is that going to come up in the DLCs? Is that going to come up in the DLCs? Well, lo and behold, Anna Bray shows up in the trailer for this DLC that we're going to go do. So, you want to see if we want to try and get Jera in here? So we're going to try and bring in our clan leader, Jerison. Oh, it says he's on Fortnite, so it might not actually be Jerison. Uh, but Jerison is our clan leader, so we've been 
kind of waiting for we've been waiting for this for a while now we want want the DLC to so I'm going to take us to orbit or uh, yeah uh, Nessus the Mars it Mars Okay, but I'm going to take us to orbit for now. For Get your ass to Mars. Yeah. Go ahead again. Give the people the air. Oh. Hey, kitty. Do you guys like Total Recall? I like Total Recall. That's actually a good movie. Especially because it was, it was the whole, it was kind of ambiguous as to whether or not he was, like, imagining the, like, you know, whether that was part of the, the memory thing that he paid for, or whether it was, like, no, th actually happening. So, a wild hunt shell. Oh, it looks kind of dumb, but it's got a cool name. I don't like that. I don't like when they give cool cool things dumb names or dumb things cool names like either way it's just always super disappointing because you're like it, you get all you see something with a cool name and you get all hyped for something cool and then you look at it and you're like oh yeah Sabathun song yeah as you can say I, you had a lower light level than me so I was wondering what all... Yeah. Well, that's the thing, is I don't know if I have all my absolute highest stuff equipped. I just, like, I equipped my Space K because I want to... It's been a while since I've rocked the Scathe Lock. Yeah. Although I could run a sweet business. Then sweet business, I have to run my war rig, and well, I guess I don't have to, but I like to war run my war rig, and it is not currently up to level. It's quite a bit lower. What? What happened? Yeah. Neat and kitty loves. You can tell I'm trying to do something. Alright. Well, I'm going to start us on the thing. If Jira joins us, that's great. If not... But I don't want to hang around too long while trying to keep this within a reasonable time frame. I would say no longer than an hour and a half. I want to shoot for about an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zavala is talking to us now. Cat. Cat, please. And all you're left with is silence and shadow. And the knowledge that you should have done more. Could we have defeated Gaul if the traveler hadn't awakened? And what of the next threat? Mm. Or the next... What then? The Traveler is awake, and the Age of Legends is upon us. In the shadow of the light, our universe is a beautiful, terrible place. Where I once saw miracles, now I see monsters. Someone has to. We have to. That's what a guardian does. Is it though? Or is that what a paranoid nutter does? <laughs> also, yes. So, I don't know. Just show me the things to punch. Oh, look, this is from the trailer. But I'm not good with rules. 
Not when there's this much at stake. She has fancy stuff in her eyes. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin. Oh, her the ghost looks most dumb. powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse. Along with something far more terrifying. Heh, <laughs> no fall damage. <laughs> Gotta give Bungie di this. They do cut scenes really well. Like, look, look at... Oh, it's crazy. Oh, she's sliding now? The ice? Oh, and a knife. Gotta love a good boot knife. Or two, apparently. So I'm thinking she's a hunter, given the knives. Yeah. So that was an intro cinematic, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I don't know. I want I want this DLC to be good. Because like I was so disappointed by the last one and how short it is. I want this one to be really good. Mars, the first place where humanity encountered the traveler. Home to the Clovis Bray Research Facility and Lost Wonders of the Golden Age. Mm -hmm. The ice caps have kept those wonders hidden for hundreds of years. But the return of the Traveler's Light has sounded an alarm heard throughout the system and perhaps beyond. Those of you who are with us through the playthrough of the main game will know that, in fact, it went like way outside our galaxy and triggered something. Some kind of floating ships out in the dark. The Red War is over, but Gaul's forces, what remains of them, have been scavenging during their retreat. And now that war sets are falling out of orbit near Mars, the Cabal are headed there too. I'll plot a landing course. Vanguard channel. Mayday, do you copy? Vanguard access code 030. Get away from my ghost, you frozen. Guardian requesting well, well. backup. I repeat, I need backup down here. This frequency is reserved for official Vanguard business. So look, whoever this is. That's cute. You've got one of the uptight ghosts. Uptight? Do you want them? You can have them. But you're going to owe us for this one. I wouldn't have called you down here unless it was absolutely critical. The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet. And an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. I need your help. Sure. Drop pod incoming. I'm using the Cabal Drop Pod uh, transmat effect, so yes. Touchdown on the surface of Mars, Guardian. What's your status? Gotcha. So for we'll now, just go without him for over now. Safe between us and the Clovis Bray facility, which is where we need to be. What's so important there? Or sats, like the one that almost hit you on approach, have been dropping out of the sky since I got here, which usually means uh, one thing. I love this thing. Rasputin. The greatest weapon of the Golden Age you were talking about. But 
That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. So why is it impossible? Rasputin's done all kinds of weird shit before. So just for a fun change of pace, some of you may notice the hammer down in the lower left of my screen. I'm running Sunbreaker. Also known as Hammers. Ah, I fucking love the scale lock. So good. You would think a fire punch would have more effect on what are essentially half frozen ice monsters. Sure are helpful. Oh wow, he's got a shield. That was interesting. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your little shield wall doesn't protect you from my sticky nade. And all these thrall, I might have to switch to the uh what's the what's the one called that shoots fire in a line forward? I think I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, let's see. That is thermite. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to use thermites. The what? I think it might be time to call in help from the vanguard. Not a great idea. Oh. Zavala won't be happy about us digging around Bray. I never have that. I don't have that one. But we need to get in there to find out what's going on with Rasputin. Okay, but why though? Like, you keep saying we need to do the thing, but why do we need to do it? Is it because you started all this? Because it sure seems like you started all this. Everything seemed nice and... Well, as you can say, because, like, in the cutscene, like, everything was fine until she decided to come check the place out. And then they started breaking out of the ice and getting all uppity. So, that's what I'm saying. I think she started it, because... They were all fine in their suspended emanation. That was kind of a bad throw, but okay. Love, love, love my space, K. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, just look how quickly it tears through these guys. Look at it. Just, oh, is that an ogre? That's an ogre. Get wrecked, ogre. Get wrecked. Yeah, I noticed they seem to be cracking and taking damage. Yeah, I got a little overconfident with that ogre. 
have we got the same number of kills. How steady this thing is. Oh, and then they all despawn for some reason. That's neat. Yay, Legendary. Sure. Give me a sec, girl. I need to... I need to. It's been so long. Oh, cutscene. Well, that's okay. At least I'll have it in the cutscene. Yeah, hi. Well, there were a lot of them. But you did great. She kind of reminds me of um Let's see what's hiding in here. Besides hordes and hordes of frozen hive, I mean. It's like I haven't actually watched Star Wars Rebels, but she reminds me of the Mandalorian chick Sabine a little bit. She's got the kind of short punky haircut. Come on. Come on. There we go. Well, at least we have the, the symbol. It's... Yeah, day one. Servers are going to be a little... Servers are going to be a little bogged. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Where are you? There you are. Do you see? Do you see what I brought to the party? Oh, I know you can. I just... I had... Black. Ooh. How did you get it black? Oh, I like how did you get? How did you manage that? Oh, what? I was to say I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to inspect you, because. <laughs> Sorry for this random break, guys, but I have to know. Go about your business. Oh, that's cool. So did you get that from the Eververse thing, or...? Huh. Interesting. But yeah. I haven't used this in so long. I gotta dust it off. Old Painless has to come out and play. Bray Tech Futurescape Hella's Basin. Those look like Cabal ships. Those are, in fact, Cabal. Oh, that is a beautiful sound. Except it runs out real fast. I remember we were playing during the beta when there was, like, no ammo to be spoken of half the time. And, uh... It was like, this is a cool weapon and all, but it's like, I don't think it's gonna be very useful in the main game if it, you know, if they have wet ammo problems like this. They fixed it a little bit. I mean, you, you still run through ammo real fast, but... You also tend to pick up more ammo overall.
I'll have to uh, equip my Actus War Rig later for you guys so you can see uh, how much better that makes it. some orbs lights. Oh. I'm here. Oh hey Anna. I'm really here. I can't believe it. Coil the spray. What kind of gun do you got on your hey. side there? The main uh, access it's is like a hand cannon of some sort. I know a few tricks. At least that seems to run in the family. Sure. Personnel identified, Dr. Anastasia Bray. Welcome to the Clovis Bray Research Facility, the fabled cradle of invention on Mars. You are part of an important moment in history. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. We're in business. All right, I guess we, uh, you have a very unhappy sounding like bird over there. The in a separate structure. Hope you're up for a little exploring. Uh, sounds like you have a very unhappy bird over there. Okay. Might not be the worst idea. Aurora Reach. Just because, you know, for the viewers. I don't know much about my family, but I know that. In here? Maybe? This looks like the way. That's a monster closet. Daha! into the sewers <laughs> one at a time <laughs> it's like a three stooges skit I'm picking up a oh he's of all three stooges all on his own on it. Let me try to access the security hey look this looks like a war sat hey look assholes So eagle-eyed viewers might notice that uh, I changed my chest piece, and so now my sweet business auto reloads itself. I don't know. It looks like you should be able to take it though. Over what? All oh, we're finding secrets, guys. We're finding secrets. Maybe one of these ass hats has something for us. Yeah. The music mission? Everybody. What's the status on the security system? I'm 
If I stand in my own fire, it makes my stuff recharge faster. Oh boy. Mini platforming stuff. We have a big problem. Come on, Rasputin. Give me something here. What do you mean? It's the Valkyrie. Rasputin's weapon. I think he heard us. Oh, please tell me this is something cool. Oh. Alright. Yo! Yo! This is so cool! Switch back to my other stuff because my power level is too low. Oh, my power is somehow at 293. What? I don't understand what's happening. For some reason it says my arms I can't use. But they're the arms that are on me right now. And it says I can't use them. That that's apparently. Well then I'm going to I'm going to I switched my arms for now. Valkyrie ground smash attack. Bam, motherfuckers. Well, they're about to wish I wasn't. Give me the spear. See, this thing is like I I I like that they give us these kinds of things. I just wish they'd give us like permanently keepable versions. Like I e I don't care if you even have to depower it. Or make it exotic or whatever you gotta do. I don't care. Just let me have a version I can take home with me. Clang. That means you're fucked. With Rasputin, I'm not sure I like that. It's probably not the best. Uh, ever? <laughs> A 
what? Hello, Guardian. Oh, shit. What do you think you're doing? Do you have any idea how dangerous... Well, why are you here? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here, doing what you always do, what you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what guardians are supposed to do? Why does her voice sound so familiar? This is a war of many fronts, and there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look, you try to shield the entire world, but you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be mm. true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe. Just maybe. We never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time it's to true. go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Show us. Or. Hmm. Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can. You tell think? You. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. Sure. Way to be awfully vague and uh, foreboding. Oh, I hope so. I would love for Steve to come back. That was the coolest thing. Rise of Iron was amazing. Okay. Hella's Basin is located by the uh, Clovis Bray. Established a thing there. Region is now overrun with Frozen Hive and remnants of the Red Legion. So Hive and Cabal. And us. Yeah. They're still hive. Just. Uh, just. <laughs> just with crispy icy bits. Or I should say crunchy icy bits. Yeah, but crispy, you tend to reserve more for things that are burned. Eh. I suppose. Okay, so where the hell did it actually kick us out at? Uh, okay, so this is where we came in at. This is where she was like, hey, I'd open the door. Which means this leads out to the fun stuff. Hey, look, cabals. What are you looking at? What? Where? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I was distracted by killing shit. Oh, hey. Hi, lady. I thought we were done for. And then Rasputin. I didn't know if he would answer. I mean, I hoped he would, but you never know with him. That javelin, though? Wow. That's one hell of a confirmation. But the real problem is Zol. The Hive became what they are today by making dark pacts with worm gods. Zol is one of those gods. I've been talking to Zavala, and he has an idea. Something that Zol won't be able to fix. Problem is, that something is in the EDZ and everyone wants it. Really? We have to go back to the EDZ? Okay, so... A redesigned Amalaman. A re slightly different Soros. And a Hake Scout. Let's see what all you got. 
thermal watch jug. Was the one that's about uh yeah. uh but I'm going to try the scout. New activity Great. Foregone conclusion, which is yet another origin story type. Braytech Snow Helm. That's kind of weird looking. Iron Heart Edge. New? What's new? There's new things. I don't know, I kind of like the look of the snow armor. Miscellaneous. Ordering rims. Soft lock. Our Agrona PR4. Oh, wow, that's a neat looking Amalaman. Yes, folks at home, I know I'm saying it wrong. I like to because it's funny. It, I, I do. Probably drives some people nuts. A Scipio D. This is new. It's a. It's a Hake rocket launcher, but it doesn't have the tracking rockets. That's interesting. Arctic Dreamscape. Uh, it load? Oh, that's cool. It's like uh, Arctic camo. That is a good question. That is a good question. Um, so, where's the new guy that you were talking about? Oh. Yeah, I just saw one that had kind of a weird spiky helmet. I like how there's almost literally a war outside of the front door of this place and the lady's just like, yeah, I'm going to set up shop here. That's fine. Apparently. Hooray for pew pews. All right, uh, where the hell are you? You're way out there. I notice. Right. Um, I am finding caves. Okay, less cave, more tunnel. Well, at least it, this one has a nice big air. Like, this is already easily twice the size of the area that we got with the um, Curse of Osiris. You know what I mean? So I'm happy about that. At least the patrol area here is nice and big.
So those are new. The hive like sniper things. I don't remember them before. What do you call Adherent? Uh, there were a couple of them in the mission. They look more or less like regular acolytes, but they have more of like a, a charge rifle that like they charge up and then sniper beam. Glacial drift. I don't know where I am, by the way. Yeah. So this is this is like one of the good old D1 levels of of freaking patrol area. Like this, this is a nice big huge area to get lost in. I'm happy about that. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about the rest of the the DLC. Oh hey, look, there's a collectible thingy. What is this? Uh, Seraphite? Why are you dead? Oh, that's why you're dead. Eh. I just murdered the guy out of it, so it's fine. Monster Closet. Seraphite, I think it said it was called. Gotcha. Mars token. Get your ass to Mars. So yeah, okay. So yeah, these things are... Which, the one from the first mission, I think you, we can probably get to here. In the patrol area, I mean. Um, so those are clearly... <clears throat> I want to say they remind me of something from Destiny 1, but I can't remember what. Wait, what did I just pass that says it requires Warmind thing? Warmind campaign completion. Oh, that looks like one of those... I was going to say, it looks like... Looks like a jav javelin. Yes. Yes. Only this you have to finish the... Yeah. I still want one of those axes to actually take with me. I miss my young wolf's howl. It may not have been as good as Dark Drinker or the rest of them, but I liked it, goddammit. It was a big, smashy sword, and it was mine, and I liked it. I'm gonna have to go back and play some more D1 just to get that sword. Or just so I can, so I can use it. So what do these mean then? What are they? They gotta be four or something. Yeah. So yeah, this is a nice. This is a nice big area. Real big. Oh hey, I remember this one. Something tells me we'll be seeing activity on this side of the portal any second.
That's fine. It's fine. Oh. Oh, that's an ogre. Whoops. I kind of blew myself up a little bit. Thanks, Rando. I don't know. Seemed like the thing to do at the time. Also, I was going to shoot a rocket at the ogre, and somebody, uh, an enemy literally ran, like, right in front of me as I pulled the trigger. So basically... The rocket made it like two inches out of the tube at best before it just exploded. So what are you seeing? Is anything like something? Yeah, so let's, uh... Oh, I'm liking this scout. So far, I can put down stuff in a single headshot. If I can actually hit their heads. Why did you die? Oh, I see that. Damn, I've already almost... Damn, this scout hits hard. Did you see that? I took that over down almost all by myself with just the scout. Not... First, you weren't. I don't know, maybe you did a little more than I noticed. I don't know. So, Ogres. So, yeah, let's, let's look at the map real quick, everybody. Look at this fucking map! That is big. Zero out of forty five data recovered. Will you stop? Also, can you not? This is basically a this is basically a mini sniper rifle right here.
What? Yeah, they've got like a charge beam thing. They're new. Well, so far as I can tell, they're the only new enemy type. So far. I wonder... I wonder if that's the thing we get f through playing the, the story. So it talks about an override code. I wonder if that's something we get from... Anna while playing through the story. Come back, Mr. Phalanx. I'm not done putting holes in your head. Is that you on my map? I don't know, it doesn't say. But it's the only other glowy dot that's moving. So I'm gonna have to guess so. No, that's what I'm saying. It's like I'm looking on the map and there's a little glowy yellowish dot that's moving. Yeah, Al Alton's dynamo. Yeah. Okay, so that is, so that is so I can see you on the maps now. That's nice. Never used to be able to see you on the map. That being said, it's it's we've been on for an hour 18, almost an hour 19. So I think we're going to call it here. This is a nice stopping point since we're just kind of wandering around. Uh, everybody, thanks for coming to check this out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, go ahead and maybe leave a like and a subscribe, you know, if you want to. It doesn't really matter to me. I do this just because I feel like it. Uh, but, you know... That'd be a good way to show that you enjoyed the videos. And hey, look, I found a thingy under the bridge. Um, but, you know, it's just a good way to, to show you you liked the video and to, you know, encourage me to do more stuff. So, we will be back later on. Uh, probably tomorrow with some more of this Warmind DLC. Uh, if I remember correctly, we're going to be heading back to the EDZ to go find some things for What's-Her-Face. And then hopefully, maybe we'll get to play with the Javelin some more. So, once again, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you guys later.